before the forest. you gave me, my lord. Guanwin brought it back with her when she interrupted the Darkling's ritual. I've been researching it for a while, and I think I've discovered something. Come have a look. Swift as the wind. Swift as the wind. Mist is gone. Nature thrives.
Don't you have anything that I am Alwyn of Bainhold? You must be the lord that Her Majesty spoke of. Hmm. Well, we can dispense with formalities. I am a master of poisons. You should warn your soldiers now. People who get close to me come to regret it. No need. Let's leave it at that. Danger. The road before us is clear. I'm on it, boss. My lord, I have been researching the stone you gave me. It is filled with a powerful dark energy. 
even the wisest of our scholars have been unable to figure out its secrets. I've heard no end of talk about it recently. It's even been found in other places. People call it Manastone. The name comes from the text of the Augustone. When the stars fall in flames, Manastone shall rise. And now that it's appeared, all of Tamaris is covered in a sinister mist. Your Grace, I recommend we destroy it at once. Wait, look at this. This black mist is a manifestation of the evil energies inside Manastone. Remember that bear we encountered outside the city? A powerful creature brought to heal by the Darkling's rituals. The power that subdued it was the very same as the mist you see within this stone. I remember it very well. It lay on the floor, shaking its head over and over, as if it had lost its mind. If this mana stone is as dangerous as it seems, then why haven't we destroyed it yet? The ritual we witnessed was not an isolated incident. Who knows how many more are taking place right at this moment, and succeeding. Rather than destroying it, I believe that if we can purify mana stone, we may be able to free those poor creatures of its curse. Hmm. I see what you mean. But we still know next to nothing about it. Where do we even begin? If mana stone has indeed been corrupted, it must have a pure, natural state. Save for the black mist within it, it seems very similar to ordinary volcanic rock. In particular, dragon glass. If I were able to compare the two substances through experimentation, I might be able to find out more. I saw a dagger made of dragon glass once at Silver Star Bazaar. It was deadly sharp, yet light as a feather. Even if you threw it into the sea, it would not sink. But it was extremely expensive. And if we need dragon glass for our experiment, uh, how much do you think you'll need, Eredrin? I'm afraid it won't come cheap. There's little they don't sell at Silver Star Bazaar. But since the Night of Burning Stars, the trade routes have seen no end of disruption. I can't be sure that they'll have Dragon Glass at the Bazaar, or even if it's still there at all. Please, allow me to join you. but I am known far and wide as the savviest trader in all of Tamaris. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, my lord. Wouldn't be a very savvy trader without a decent pair of eyes, would I? <laughs> and where would a lord like you be without a trusted sage? Dronky, say hello to our guest. <laughs> You're here for dragon glass, ain't you? Not much of it on the market these days. Nobody's seen so much as a glimpse of the stuff. But today's your lucky day, hon. I just so happen to have some in stock. Of course. Went all the way to the dragon's mall to get it. And I examined it all myself. Top tier stuff, perfectly transparent, light as a feather. I don't actually have it on me <laughs> right now. It's all yours, though. I just might need a little help. What happened? Well, things have been a little chaotic since the night of burning stars. A couple days ago, I ran into a horde of those awful darklings. I was walking down a road I have walked a thousand times when I got robbed in broad daylight. Mama always said, 
Life's worth more than gold. Took me about three seconds to decide to drop all my goods and turn tail. How awful. May Arbon bless you. When I came back later, the Darklings had taken all the dragon glass I had. Not even a shard left behind. And now, the road to the Dragon Mall has been blocked off, and that was the only dragon glass anybody could get their hands on for miles. Lucky for us, Drunky picked up the robber scent, led me right back to their camp. It's not far from here. Kindness like that, it warms my heart. It truly does. You have my word as a traitor. If you can help me get my goods back, the dragon glass is yours. Free of charge. Oh, <laughs> good. Kella keeps her word. Ask anyone. My lord, our city has grown so quickly that it's starting to get a bit crowded. You could try removing a few decorative buildings to make more space. Stay firm in the face of danger. 